Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. There has been a fire in Lego City. Hey! We are going to need to build a fire engine. Let's stick out this fire and get building today's tutorial. <laughs> okay, that was supposed to go better than expected. <laughs> uh, it, it'd be fine. I'll sort that out in a moment. <laughs> so anyways, we are going to be building this um, this fire engine over here. Just ignore the, <laughs> the small lake I've made now. Um, yeah, it is an English fire engine. This is one that we see on the streets of England all the time. I believe it's in the entire UK as well. So like in Scotland, Wales, Ireland, they all have fire engines similar to this one. Uh, I built this off of a London city fire engine because I felt it was kind of obviously the capital of England. And I felt that would be kind of... Uh, just cool to build one of them really uh, so yeah we have like a ladder truck here it's got the ladder on the top of course it has got sirens absolutely everywhere you've got the actual London City Fire Brigade sort of star on the side of it you've got the sort of hazard signs wing mirrors everything you could ask for on a fire engine this fire engine has it all it has the hooks on the back for connecting all the pipes and stuff so you can actually put out flames which my flame has managed to surround everything but that the water sorry how is that even possible? But, but hey. Uh, so yeah, safe to say I'm never going to be a firefighter. But that is why we have the fire engine. So let's go ahead and get building today's episode. <laughs> I actually forgot to mention a really, really important thing about this tutorial. Now, one quick thing as well is um, if you're still watching the video after that terrible, horrendous intro, then thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, one really cool feature about this fire engine is you can actually hop onto the roof open up the trap door, slap yourself into this minecart, and you can actually drive the fire engine, which is awesome. Am I sat the wrong way around? I am. There we go. <clears throat> this is the way you're supposed to drive. <laughs> oh my goodness me, I feel like we should just get started with building. <laughs> Alright then, assassins, so today's tutorial is actually pretty simple, um, but with the way I'm kind of talking and the way I'm doing my intros and stuff, it may be way more overcomplicated than it needs to be, so <laughs> please feel free to pause the video and ask me any questions you may have down in the comments below. We're going to need to take ourselves some te uh, <laughs> deep slate tile stairs, there we go, already messed up, smooth quartz slab, a block of coal, a mangrove trap door, smooth quartz stairs, a mangrove slab, deep slate tile slab, had to think about it at that time, a smooth stone slab and some mangrove stairs as well. Alright then, so the front of our fire engine is pretty pretty bulky in the fact that it's got a lot of materials on it. We're going to come to, I've kind of built this little road here, we're going to take a block of coal and we're just going to plonk this kind of here on the road. I'm also going to do on the other side, sorry, I'm going to do it here and here, so leave a block, only one block in the middle, like so. Then we're going to leave ourselves a gap of one, two, three, four, and on five we build another wheel. We do want exactly the same the other side, just leaving a block gap between them, like so. Awesome, so you should have a gap of four between each wheel. At the front up here, you can take yourself your deep slate tile stairs, and we're going to do one upside down here and upside down this side. Then we'll take ourselves a quartz, smooth quartz slab here and here in front of the stairs, like so. Awesome, and I believe there's going to be a hopper in the between of these two but we don't have that material at the moment so if we get the front at the moment we'll start to come back we'll do another upside down deep slate tile stair here and here behind the, behind the front wheels and we want to add an, an upside down smooth quartz stair on top of both of these front wheels so you have to kind of place a few to remove them afterwards like that then you can do yourselves an upside down deep slate tile stair above again just besides both of the quartz, like so. And these are going to be for, you can imagine, steps up to the actual door of the truck, like that. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and take ourselves some mangrove slabs and build two blocks of these above our quartz stairs. One block, two blocks, one, two, like so. Then you can stick yourself an upside down stair here and an upside down stair here, kind of over the deep slate tile stair, like so upside down that is as well. Now we're going to take mangrove slabs back and these are going to go back behind the fire truck for two blocks so past the back wheels like that and the same here like so. Down at the bottom wheels you can take yourself upside down deep slate tile stairs 
kind of behind it and in front of it for both of these and a mangrove slab behind that like so in the middle block i believe you can use whatever you wish because there's nothing back here so you can keep it actually empty which is good and in between these two you can just add in two mangrove slabs like so awesome by the way, these ones, I don't know if you can, I think you can switch them around if you wish, but it is up to you guys. As we're kind of making the stairs up to these, I recommend just keeping them like that, or you can have them like that. It's really up to you. Now let's take a smooth um, stone slab. I'm going to need to place these kind of in here. So we're going to need to go in between kind of our, our little sort of rails at the moment. So we're going to build one here, and we're going to build it upwards. So basically we have two blocks. The reason we use the slabs is that we have the little gap between them. Also, it's much easier to place the natural blocks at the moment, like so. And then you can leave this gap at the top empty for adding in the ladder and all that sort of stuff later. Wonderful, looking good. Now we'll take ourselves these mangrove trapdoors. I'm going to fold one here and fold one from the top down just here. Same here, like so. And now over the back wheels, add in a deep slate tile slab here and here. Then take your mangrove trap doors, fold it again in front of and behind the back wheel. Same here. Just one here, one here, and one here, and one here. Like that. So now you have three separate compartments, pretty much, for the fire truck to carry, you know, tools and supplies and things. Back here we'll do another one, here and here, and the same on the other side, here and here like so. Wicked, that looks good. Awesome stuff guys. So you should have kind of the um, the actual cab up here of the engine is going to have like the smooth stone kind of poking through, but that's not a problem. You can actually, if you want to, fold up some trapdoors here, just so you don't have to see that back part. But you know, it's not really the most important of details, so feel free to change whatever you need to just there. As you can see, I only did the one there, and then I kind of added in like a, a deep state, maybe like stair back here for a little seat or something. So feel free to add that in, like so. Awesome, okay. I think we are almost there with these materials. Let's just quickly add in another block here of mangrove, and then three mangrove stairs across the front of the cab, like so. And you can really see the fire truck sort of design coming in there. That looks awesome. Epic, okay, I think we should grab some new materials now. I don't want to say it too soon, but I think we're ready to go. Yeah, let's do it. And then if we, you know, find anything we need back, we'll just get it. So now I have myself a deep slate tile wall, some black stained glass, a hopper, black stained glass pane, a iron trap door, an item frame, iron bars, polished dorite slabs, and an end rod as well. Let's use ourselves our glass firstly, because we want to make the sort of front window, which is going to be three blocks just like so, kind of down from the stairs of course. And then we'll add in the wing mirrors, which are going to go here and here with our walls like so. We'll add in the panes behind the actual blocks in here and one in here as well, on both sides of course. Looking good. Now we'll take ourselves our item frames and we'll place these on the wheels on every wheel by the way although the front two wheels are going to be covered up with banners anyways but it's always good to add a bit of extra detail anyways we'll do another one here and here and then we want to stick as you can see two more on the front here on mangrove which i completely did not realize until just now so ah okay what we'll do is we're going to place a hopper in between the two quartz slabs like so and then grab our mangrove slabs back from up here placing one block here on both sides and then adding in item frames here and on the front as well. <laughs> it's a pretty like important detail, but I completely forgot. We'll also do ourselves a deep slate tire wall in between the two blocks there like so. That just adds like a front grill there and makes it look like a proper fire engine like so. That looks really cool. All right, nice one. At the very top up here, by the way, you can add in another block here and another block here. But in this one, you can take yourself your trap doors back and just stick in a trap door on the roof there like so. And that'll be how you access the inside to go ahead and seat in here. So um, let's just take ourselves maybe like a deep slate slab again. So grab it from back here and just go ahead and kind of fill in the floor um, 
just in that gap there like so and we'll add in the stuff you need for like the the minecart later good stuff all right back here then we're going to take ourselves the iron trap door and we're going to start to build our ladder this will go on the very top of the truck of course so we're going to need to take ourselves the trap doors firstly they're going to go in three here and we're going to do four on this side to represent two separate ladders don't worry that they're going to be levitating that is actually on purpose <laughs> it's all good you're also going to want to place yourself two more in here now they need to be on the same layer as these ones so you're going to need to crouch or shift click on this block build a temporary one just there to place one here build one on top of it which you can place should be able to place normally maybe I have to go below yeah like so like that now we're going to take two polished dorite slabs here and then we'll do two more stacked up above these ones here they're going to make blocks which is going to be a bit troublesome so I recommend building a block behind temporarily to then place them like so and we're not quite done we need to place two more iron trap doors up this end like that so we have like a smaller ladder piece at the top there and it looks really good now below the two polished dorite slabs you can place two iron bars to kind of hold the ladder on top there and that looks epic at the very back of, uh, back of the fire truck sorry and at the top here you can add in either some glow item frames or some normal item frames do three up here one here and one here and now on the back of the fire engine you can also add in a couple more I recommend doing at least four so you can have brake lights and then of course the actual emergency lights as well so let me just find the right place to put these okay it's probably quicker to go across so yeah we just do literally one here 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 and here like so epic let's get some new materials oh before we do Enrod just goes in there like so to maybe like hold on the ladder a bit more kind of stops it from sliding off the back of the, the engine that would not be cool so there we go so now it really is starting to look like a fire engine but uh, it still needs a lot filling in we're going to take ourselves a minecart uh, mine with a hopper some blue stained glass some normal glass panes a nether star red stained glass pane a blue candle some deep slate tile slabs again only the one this time though a minecart and a rail of course as well for these minecarts um, with hoppers you can place them in the wheels like this you can either do them on their side or just normally and these just add kind of the HUD caps for the um is it HUD or hub caps I can't remember but um for the wheels anyways like so awesome we're also going to do ourselves some blue stained glass on the sides of the engine like this for these two and you can also place them at the top there on the back as well here and here you can place red ones here and here you can place another star here and here and then you can place yourself a um, two normal glass panes on the bottom here 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 and here like so we now want to do ourselves a blue candle up this end of the fire engine it's going to be just past the big four block ladder just here and it's going to be kind of levitating on this mangrove slab now of course we can't have stuff levitating in minecraft with candles so we're going to need to grab ourselves another mangrove slab back to build it into a block place the candle on and then remove it to replace the slab like so so we have it kind of floating in midair <laughs> that's all fine now going on into the inside of our fire engine down in here we place another deep slate tile slab there a rail this way around and a minecart there and that will allow you to jump in and out of the fire truck whenever you please so you can go for a little drive make sure to be sat the right way around though not facing the trapdoor like I was <laughs> still need to get my license <laughs> okay I think that's about it for these materials if we go ahead and grab some more we can get this fire engine completed so now we come on to the end game of our fire engine we're going to take ourselves a tripwire hook a warped sign an iron trapdoor a polished blackstone button and some blue stained glass as well we're going to take the glass up here and we're just going to stick them in the top there like so you could do them at an angle for the end ones if you want to and it just kind of adds like a bit more detail to the fire truck looking good let's do ourselves a polished blackstone button here above the never star on both sides and then a warp trap door warp trap door a warped sign even on here like so and these can have like the 
the actual sort of um, fire station name on them if you want to or anything like that so where they belong um, so yeah feel free to add that in if you want to like a little extra detail too um, so yeah that's everything here we're gonna now take ourselves the iron trap doors here and here and then two tripwire hooks on the very back like so now we do have an awful lot of banners to get done so I recommend just clearing your inventory like so taking yourself a loom we'll go ahead and make these banners firstly we're going to need ourselves two yellow banners and some red dye. These are pretty simple. We just come over to the loom. We plonk one in like so. Oh, if I can get it to go in. There, there we go. And we just need the half banner. The half like red at the bottom. So red perfess inverted. The other yellow banner in for the uh, red perfess. So now we have this one and this one. We're going to place these on the front of our fire engine over here. We'll start with yellow here at the top, red at the top, yellow at the top. Same on this side, yellow, red, yellow. So only one red for the middle one, like so. Scrap your inventory again. Now we've got rid of these, we can remove them. We're going to make these ones, and these go on the front bumper of our fire engine. I forgot to fill this chest. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so pretend you saw nothing. Now we have ourselves two white banners and some red dye. We're going to come ahead and place ourselves, that was supposed to be two white banners, let me place one down and I can grab it in a minute. So we'll take ourselves a white banner in here, some red dye in here like so, and we're going to need to make it kind of like a cross like this. So we only need like a little triangle of white to be showing through. So we're going to get ourselves a red per uh, bend sinister, and then we need the border up here. So we kind of like slice it like that on the side. Getting another white banner now. So now we have that one there. We want the other side. So we stick the red dye in, white banner in, and we get the other one just over here. Oh, it is that one just there. So this is called a red per bent. Or you can get the other sort of sinister, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as the white is at the top. Let's get that out. And then we put the border on, and that should kind of slice that one in half like that. So now we have ourselves two triangles of white dye there. These will go on the front. Of course, you need to go this one and this one so that both the triangles kind of go up to the hopper. And now we want to make the Pokemon sign for the middle of our fire engine over here. So let's remove these now we've got rid of them. Get rid of our inventory. For this one over here, we take red dye, a white banner, and some black dye. And it's pretty simple to make. We pl plonk the uh, white banner in, the red dye in. We want to go for a half kind of uh, banner here so we want to go for a red perfess at the top there and then we take the red dye out banners obviously back in black dye in and then we want this line in the middle which is a black fess here this will stick on the front grill and we want to shift or crouch click to place it on the hopper there like so and we also want to place one on the wall up there as well like that that looks pretty cool now to go ahead and build these for the actual back of the fire engine clear inventory again we just need to take ourselves two yellow banners and some red dye. We will stick ourselves a yellow banner in, just here, a red dye in like so, and then we need to get these lines across, which is a red bend sinister, and of course the opposite one, which is going to be the uh, red bend like so. Awesome. Put them on the back of the fire engine now, over the trap door. So you have to shift or crouch click again, place one here place one here we need the lines to be going up towards that end rod up there and there you have yourselves a english or british fire engine built in minecraft and while that is it for today's tutorial guys thank you so so much for watching i am so sorry there was a, a few sort of continuity errors there and whatnot <laughs> that was definitely my mistake um but yeah i really hope you've had fun building today it has been awesome to teach you how to build a fire engine in minecraft it's actually my first fire engine tutorial uh, I've never actually built one in Minecraft before, so it was really cool to get one done. And it also completes my line of emergency vehicles. So now we have a British police car, a British ambulance, and now a British fire engine as well. So that is pretty cool. What should I build next? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. But thank you very much. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please be sure to drop a like on it. That would be epic. If you are interested in future vehicle tutorials coming soon for your cities or even buildings, for your cities 
please consider joining the Assassinhood today for free by subscribing. That would be epic. It'd be awesome to have you join the Assassinhood. And if you're on social media, you can check out my links in the description and hopefully follow me up on those. But yeah, guys, you take the best of care and I will see you very shortly for another Weed Assassin Guide. Goodbye for now. Thank you so much.